Hey guys, it's only Jill here of Bite the Bullet, our upcoming run, gun, and eat. This game here is not your typical run and gun. It's got the RPG elements you know and love from all the games that you've been playing all along, but with eating. That's right, eating is the core component of this game. We've got skill trees that have to do with eating, weapon upgrades that have to do with eating. Let me tell ya, the eating in this game is unreal. What do you eat, you ask? Well, you gotta eat your enemies, unless you wanna be a plant-based protagonist, which is also included. Eating in this game is the only way that you can gain your experience and skill points to advance in all of your skill trees. Which, I mean, why wouldn't you want to do that? Some of the skills are freaking awesome. I mean, why bother talking about it when I can just show you, right? Let's get right into it. I haven't really played too much of this game, but I pretty much have the gist of it. You start off the game as either Chewy or Chewella. I chose Chewella, obviously, because like, look at her, she could squat for days. Chewie and Chewella work for a company called Darwin Corp. Um, they are both half human, half ghouls, and basically what they do is they um, collect... You didn't need to interrupt me. They collect genetic information for this company uh, with implants that are in their stomachs. So they just eat their enemies and this is how they collect their information. So this is Chewella. She's pretty awesome. I decided to go with her. Um, we're gonna look at the skill tree real quick here, so. These are all the different nodes. I'll have about four skill points that I can use because, like I said, I haven't been too far into the game, but I get the gist of it. Um, if you've ever played any RPG, it'll be a, it'll be a simple thing for you to understand. So um, each node gives you some, some sort of skill or some sort of perk, which is pretty cool. So right now I can only grab these ones here. Uh, this is like, um, the, each one of these gives me a plus one to my health, so I'm going to go ahead and put them on here. One, two. Okay, so now I have four additional health. When you really get into it and you really get a lot more skill points than I have, you can decide which diet you want to have. So, I mean, you can do the slaughter of the soil. So that's basically like your vegetarian class. Um, and then you get certain perks by going through that tree. Um, you can do the I see, I eat class, which is basically you eat everything. You can even eat projectiles coming from your enemies, which is pretty freaking cool. Um, you can be uh, the Gorevore. So basically you only eat meats and nothing but meats. Um, so it's a very, very aggressive class because um, you're a lot more violent and you have like special bile attacks. So like you can like throw up on your enemies. <laughs> And then you have Smorgasbord, which basically means that you're a robovore. So you only eat metal and you only eat robots, which is pretty cool. Um, but again, they have their own um, skill tree as well. So as you keep going, so we're going to look at the uh, slaughter of the soils over here. So um, plants don't come up very often in a level, which is why the vegetarian diet is probably the hardest skill tree to do. Um, so these first couple nodes just make it so that you have a 15% ch uh, increased chance of finding plants in your levels. Um, but when you do get into like the bigger bigger stuff here um like for instance you could have um expanded consciousness consciousness so when you get into this one you actually have like psychic abilities so you can actually slow down like enemy projectiles and stuff which is pretty cool um so there's like stuff like that so we're gonna look at the the gore of war real quick just so you guys can see that, that there's a little bit of a difference here so um with the gore of war, um, your, your character is probably going to be very lean and very mean. Um, so anytime your character gets some fat in him or her, um, it will convert it into calories every 15 seconds. That's what this have these first couple nodes here will do. Um, and then if once we get into like the really big ones, um, made of meat, so you don't settle for like, this is, this is how extra this game is, which is pretty awesome. Um, you don't settle for like normal deaths. So like when you, um, you can turn your enemies into like explosions. So they, they don't just die, they explode. So, um, which is pretty, which is pretty funny. So I, that's what I mean. So the, the skill tree is pretty cool. Um, I like the the effects of it. That's pretty awesome. It's very, very involved, which is pretty cool. Anyway, so we'll go do some gameplay real quick. <laughs> the dialogue in this game is ridiculous. <laughs> okay, so every level has these challenges here. So they have like a couple of the time challenges. So um, completing the level in three minutes, uh, the 
kill 10 enemies in 30 seconds. They have like edible targets. So you have to eat 10 of each one of those. Um, the protein collection. So like you have one for like collecting a thousand protein. If you happen to do all of these, you'll actually get this guy at the bottom here. So like right there um so you get a green bandana and a green bandana doubles the amount of ammo that you pick up so that's pretty cool um okay so when it comes to eating your enemies you're gonna run into some some enemies here um some of them have guns some of them just run at you some of them are robots that like fly over your head and they drop stuff on you um so with this guy here i'm just gonna shoot him a couple times and then he'll get stunned so when he's stunned you can actually run up and then just eat Enjoy, my woman, enjoy. If you want to go the I see, I eat route for the diet and the skill tree, you totally can, but you're going to have to pay more attention to the amount of fat, protein, and calories that you're taking in. If you want your character to be very mean and lean and robust and move very quickly, you're going to want to make sure that, like, just like Chuella here, you're going to want to make sure that you give them that high-protein diet because that's, that's the best way to keep that. If you want to make sure that your character can take a little bit more damage and they can withstand a little bit more, you're going to want them to eat a lot more fat because it'll make them thick. And uh, when your character is thicker, they actually uh, can take more damage, but they move a lot slower. So it's completely up to you on how you guys want to um, customize your character, how you want them to play. Uh, you do need at least 10 skill points to pick which diet you want your character to have. So they do give you the first couple of levels to really decide how you want your character to be. Okay, so really cool component about this game is that they do leave you other weapons. Um, and then you can switch through them as much as you'd like. Um, so this particular weapon here, um, you don't always have to switch because every weapon is different. Some of them have different um, effects on them and stuff. So if we want to go ahead and look at this one. So what I have equipped is a family sized assault rifle. It does 5.3 damage and my secondary damage. So it shoots out the missiles. It does 13.2 um, and it gives me 50% increased max ammo, which is pretty cool. The one on the ground here is an in-flight meal assault rifle. Yes, all the names are food-based, and I know it's awesome. This one here does, um, the primary damage is 5.2, and the secondary is 12.8, and it does 50% more damage while airborne. So if I'm jumping through the air, it actually does 50% more damage. That's pretty cool. I don't actually jump that often. Um, I'm not usually jumping when I'm attacking, so I'm not going to pick this up. I'm going to leave this here, and I'm going to continue using my family-sized assault rifle. And without giving too much away, there's a sneak peek of Bite the Bullet coming on all the appropriate consoles that you see listed here. And by all means, come join us in Discord. Um, we have the discussions. If you have any issues, if you see any bugs at all, this is where we want to know. This is where we can fix it. Um, and I look forward to everyone playing it in 2020.